Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my another weekly installment of What's Sold on Poshmark. For those of you who might be new here, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm a full-time working mom, I have four young children, and I really love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling journey here on Poshmark. So if that sounds at all interesting to you, please consider checking out my other videos linked down below, and also consider subscribing as well so you don't miss any more future videos. So for today's video, again, I'm going to cover what I sold on Poshmark for the week of October 20th. And overall, I'll say it was a pretty good week for me. I think sales overall have been picking up a little bit, as I think that's true for a lot of other people as well, given the time of year and season we're in. But I'm also really excited because I'm able to sell items at a little bit of a higher price point too, which is really, really exciting. So um, I definitely want to share kind of my experiences this past week and kind of what worked for me and what didn't. Just to remind you, I'm going to be quoting my sales directly from Poshmark and my take home earnings from Poshmark, but I will not be including my cost of goods or any other business related expenses. If you're interested in those kind of information, please consider checking out my haul videos linked down below. And in those videos, I try to highlight a little bit more about what types of cost of goods I'm looking at when I'm outsourcing. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the sales for this week of October 20th. And the first thing that sold this week was this really, really cool uh, Wild Fox uh, baggy jumper. So technically it was um, a Wild Fox unicorn style a pink baggy beach jumper. And I haven't had a whole lot of experience selling Wild Fox before. I did sell one other item previously. I just can't find them out when I'm sourcing and that's really the only reason why I haven't sold so many um, so far. But these do really well. My other ones sold very quickly. This one was amazing because it was new with tags and I found this at um, a Goodwill when I was out thrifting on one of my recent vacations. And it was a really cool style. It's I'm really a unicorn in this really beautiful pink color. And this baggy beach jumper is known for the intentionally distressed kind of pill design. So when I first saw these type of jumpers, I thought that these were actually flawed because they were so pilled, but actually that's what people want. It makes it extra cozy and soft and that worn in look is really the style of this kind of jumper. So that's kind of how, what this looked like. And this particular style in general, I think is extra popular in terms of being the uh, baggy beach jumper. And I listed it a little bit high, but ultimately agreed on a best offer price of $75. Poshmark fees were $15 and my net earnings on this jumper uh, were $60. So I'm always on the lookout for Wild Fox. I just can't find them all that much, but if I find them and they're in good condition, I definitely consider picking them up. The next item that sold was this bundle for the week, and it was this bundle of this Doc Martin Martin's Marie Airwear Velvet Flats in a size 8, as you can see here. It was this beautiful burgundy type of color with a floral design, and it had the very classic kind of Doc Martin style soles on them. Excellent condition, uh, no significant signs of wear. And the second item that sold in this bundle was this Anthropology Saturday Sunday Isabel dress in a size small. It had this really nice um, tie detail at the waistline, very classic style, cream and black, very classic uh, colors as well. You just can't go wrong. So these items sold in a bundle and I offered um, the buyer an extra discount on top of my normal bundle discount. So the price for both of these items were $70. The Poshmark fees were $14 and my net earnings were $56. And I got a really amazing love note on this particular bundle. And the buyer loved both of these items. In particular, the shoes um, were what she was specifically looking for. She said she had the same shoe in the black version. So she was looking for this burgundy color and it was absolutely perfect for her. So I was always super excited about that. It's really cool when you have items in your closet that people are specifically searching for. The next item that sold was this Patagonia item. It was the Anya a hooded striped sweater dress and really perfect for this time of year going into the cooler months. It had the kangaroo style pockets, just really basic um, classic sweater dress style. It had a decent amount of likes as you'll see here at 13 likes and was not in my closet for that long. I'd say maybe only a month or two at most. So ultimately I did agree on a best offer price of $35. Poshmark fees were $7 and my net earnings were $28 on this item. I do love selling Patagonia. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Patagonia for whatever reason here at our local thrift store, so I don't find it all that often. But if I do and it's uh, a neat style like this one, I definitely think it does well. The next item that sold was a Weed the Free Thermal Sweater. It had this really dramatic bell sleeves, as you can see here. So really, really unique design. Um, really good condition as well. Just a basic thermal, perfect for this time of year. So this particular item was in a size extra small, and I agreed on a best offer price of $20. Poshmark fees are $4, so my net earnings were $16 on this beautiful sweater. The next item that sold was this ASOS Lace Midi Dress. 
So this was just a beautiful dress. It was this amazing burgundy color, and it was lace, as you can see here, with cutout details, and it was fully lined in this nude material um, for almost the entire dress, except for the sleeves, um, the yoke area, and one section of the midriff. So really, really cute, um, a little bit sexy style as well. So really, really popular. As you can see here, it was 36 likes on this particular dress. Um, for whatever reason, though, this did sit in my closet for several months. I've had it for at least three months or so and I did lower the price a little bit on this item even though it got a lot of interest it was in perfect condition just really gorgeous dress and really good quality you could tell by just feeling it it was by ASOS again and it was in a size 4 so ultimately I did accept a best offer price on this dress of $30 Poshmark fees were $6 and my net earnings were $24 on this dress so I don't always pick up ASOS I think if it has a really cool unique style I might tend to consider it so so far I've only picked up dresses from ASOS I do like their dresses I think they're pretty trendy really good quality and people tend to be searching for them so I have another sweater dress currently in my closet in case you're interested in checking that one out from ASOS the next item that sold was this Madewell Skinny Skinny Distressed Ankle Jean. It was intentionally distressed as you can see here. It was in a size 24. And like you've heard before, I love picking up Madewell, especially jeans. I think they still do very well. And um, so far, most of the Madewell jeans that I picked up have sold very, very quickly. This one took a few weeks to sell, but did sell um, for a pretty decent price point. I accepted a best offer of $35. Poshmark fees were $7. And my net earnings were $28 on these pair of jeans. The next item that sold was this Miss Me bootcut embellished jean and it was in a size 25 and really gorgeous details and that's what Miss Me is known for, really the bling on the back side as you can see here. And this one said Paris on one side and it was encrusted with these kind of rhinestones. Everything was intact and in gorgeous condition. Um, a really, really nice quality jean, no significant wear either. So this particular jean did sell for a best offer price of $26. Poshmark fees are $5.20, so my net earnings are $20.80. I love Miss Me. In general, I think they do pretty well well, you have to be careful that there aren't any flaws in all of the embellishments, but if you find ones in good condition, I think Miss Me can move pretty quickly through the closet. The next item that sold was an item from my personal closet. It was this J. Crew wool sweater with a pom pom detail, and um, I had owned this previously and wore it a quite a bit, but not um, too much to be honest. I do have a lot of um, sweaters that I don't want to reach for all that often, although I've had, had this for a couple years now. So it had really cute palm details, you can see here. The pictures weren't great, though I will say. It looks like there's some discoloration, which the buyer did actually ask about, but actually there was really no discoloration, it was just the shadows. So this item was one of the earlier items I had listed in my closet several months ago, so um, my picture taking skills really are, weren't all that great. So as you can see here, um, I think pictures definitely mean a lot in terms of resale value. But I was just a little bit lazy to have to relist it and take pictures again, so I just kind of left it up there. So there were a couple couple of flaws however and there were small pinholes which I listed in the um, listing as well and for that reason I didn't expect this to resell for a huge amount I was just happy to move it to my closet and make room for more stuff around here so I did accept um, a best offer price of nine dollars Poshmark fees were $2.95 so my net earnings on this sweater were six dollars and five cents overall I had a lot of life still left in it it was a full wool sweater in a size small and a just really basic perfect sweater for this time of year the next item that sold was this really cute and trendy pair of Lucky Brand loafers. So as you can see here, it was kind of a monk strap design. It was the dollar, was a style name, and it was a leather loafer. It was size 7. I've had this in my closet, I'd say, for a few months, and it had some interest. I'd say 19 likes over those uh, several months. It was a very cool design with a little pop of color of pink, as you can see there, and um, really in excellent condition. So I did decide to um, accept a best offer price of $36. Poshmark fees were $7.20 and my net earnings are $20.80. I do still like to pick up Lucky Brand shoes. Um, that's probably the only thing that I try to pick up from Lucky Brand. I do have a couple of their clothing items in my closet now, but they really don't move that quickly for me. And I think that's true for a lot of other resellers as well. So I would pick up Lucky Brand clothes only um, if there's a really nice style or something that's unique about it. Other than that, I really try to stick to Lucky Brand shoes, but I think there really still is a pretty strong following for these shoes here on Poshmark. And the final sale for that week was this Talbot's Flawless Five Pocket Straight Jean in a size 16W. And it was in amazing condition, just very classic dark wash style. Um, really can't go wrong with this kind of basic jean. So ultimately, I did um, send 
actually a closet clear out offer um, and closet clear out really is mostly miss for me I was gonna say hit or miss but it's mostly miss I try to use it um, every now and again but really haven't had much success with it I think that really short six hour time frame for the discount of shipping is just a little too short for most buyers so I don't have a whole lot of success but this particular jeans actually worked on so I dropped the price to $20 and this person um, accepted the offer within an hour I'd say of dropping the price so she got some discounted shipping uh, Poshmark these are four dollars so my net earnings on this item was $16 and I did get a really nice love note um, just yesterday on this particular pair of jeans and the buyer is very very happy with them so Talbots is a brand that I don't tend to pick up unless I can get them for a really really discounted price and it's an amazing condition so I thought these jeans would do well just because they're very classic design size 16 was also helpful as well so I wanted to give them a try and they did, actually did pretty well but in general I don't tend to pick up Talbots on uh, the regular Okay, well, that was it for my sales for the week of October 20th. So overall, pretty good in terms of numbers, and I'm also I'm pretty excited, like I said in the beginning of the video, that a lot of the price points are higher than they have been in previous weeks. So we'll see if the trend continues. I sure hope so. Um, I gotta try to stop my closet a little bit more as well. I've been having a little bit of difficulty time-wise um, to be able to um, list a whole bunch of new items, but I definitely wanna keep working on that. So if you have any questions about any of these items or my Poshmark experience, please consider leaving them down below and also consider watching my other videos and subscribing to this channel as well if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, thanks so much again for watching this video, and I'll plan to see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.